everyone and welcome back to the channel and today you join me at one of my favourite pegs here at Western Pools, 18 on the canal pool. Now this peg has got so many memories over the years, it's one of the, probably the first pegs I actually won an open off and had done really well years ago but that's not what we're here for today but this is why the peg's so me memorable to me. So what we're doing today is because Obviously the water temperature is on the rise, the weather's on the change and the fishing's getting better. The fish are starting to wake up and feed. Now with this, some baits change and the way your fishing changes. Gone are the days of a little kinder pot, shake it in, 10 maggots or so, or dobbing a bit of bread. Now we're going to be loose feeding them down the margin, trying to catch everything. Now today we've had carp, F1s, eyed, skimmers, little tench and odd barbel. So I've been catching loads of fish and getting loads of bites. Now, I'm going to run through the rig in a second, but simply, you'll just need a few maggots. We've got Donald, the resident duck, here with us. You guys, right, son? He's not coming. Give it camera shy. But we've got Donald, the resident duck, here. He's here now, and he wants some maggots, so we're going to feed him. But, like I said, just want a few pints of maggots. Two pints is going to be enough if you come pleasure fishing in a match. You're probably going to need three or four just because you'd be fishing shallow out there but two pints for down the margin is a simple amount or stable amount for what you need to do now like i said we're going to be loose feeding today just because the fishing's really good now if it was a bit harder we'd be cupping the bait in but because it's fishing really well and the fish are on the feed we're going to be loose feeding he's loving them maggots by the way i think he's out of shot just right donald so let's get on to the rig quickly Got a short kit, I like these for F1s. The carp are not really active and we can get them in if we hook any. I've got 10 holler, just cause it's nice and soft. I really like this in the springtime. Cushions them fish well, and the longer you use this, the stretchier it gets, so it's really nice. 015 mainline, we're still on then for rigs. Little back shot there, number, number eight that is. We've got a four by 12 F1 maggot. So we want the carbon stem cause we're fishing with maggots, so we're gonna follow them through the water. So basically, the back shot holds onto the float, so when the float's arcing round, it follows it round because of the carbon stem, and the shotting replicates that, so you can see any bites on the drop because you can catch shallow down the margin. So you want to be have a rig, which is going to make sure you see that. You don't want a wire stem float where it bombs past the fish. You might miss an, miss an indication of the fish off the bottom, and effectively you might miss some fish. So, like I said, the shotting pattern's just strung out every three inches intervals, number tens, so it falls nice and slow then we've got four inches of a pre-tired sfl 011 in a 16 so enough of the chit chat now let's get two maggots on and get some fishing done now we've had some massive f1s today had a big carp as well and a load of hide so what we're gonna do is lower it in there just so it comes in an arc and then hold the rig tight so you're in control of the float and then literally loose feeds and maggots over the top it couldn't be any simpler this but when you get some bites on this the fish are really feeding the big f1s and the bits and we had some big carp as well so it's dead interesting now one thing that's been really interesting and we've been fishing pellets as well today as well as this is the bites now you may think you hear me saying it's fishing really well we're catching loads of big fish we're catching lots of fish it's really enjoyable now you think oh I'll just float will sail away it'll fly under 100 miles an hour i can have my whole bristle out doesn't really matter because they're feeding this is incorrect today all the little bites have been little sharp dinks like that one i missed that one though little sharp stabs on the float tiny indications and it's important you literally got your float dotted to a pimple oh some signs there now so it's a good sign of some fish in the peg we get some caught for the camera like i said it's just really important to dot your float down and be really careful of watching your rig. Now you want to watch that rig with like hawk eyes, any sharp dink movement, give it a lift, give it a strike, because you'll be fishing beyond like that. That hardly moved then. Didn't pull the rig under. And what have we got? A little left one. See, hooked in the top lip. So we just proved that 
fish are just tiny little indication hooked in the top lip there. Nice little chunky stocky F1. It's just the bite, it wasn't like a sailor way. Just because they're feeding and picking up your bait doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be full on active slamming your float under. Remember, it still changes day by day. So one day you might be throwing bait in, the next day you might catch sheller, the day after you might have to kinder your bait. And what I mean by kinder is using a cab pot and tapping some maggots in, say like 20 to 30, just a bigger volume than what you would in the winter. But just a ball depends, so I'm just going to feed my bait now. I've let, flipped my rig in. Donald's going to get in the action here. Probably going to go past the GoPro and block the float. Living the life of Riley, I'm getting fed up by everyone. But like I said, just watch that float. Ooh. That was a little foul looker then. So we had a sign of fish in the peg. I'll try and swing in, just check your hook bait. And go again. Now don't be worried about foul lookers and loads of liners. This happens in fishing, no one's a robot and gets it right every time. They do happen, it happens to everyone, but it's a good sign, the fish are in your peg, they're feeding. Now if they're in your peg, you can catch them. Sounds simple, it is. If they're not in your peg, you can't catch them. Oh. One thing you can do is reduce the amount of feed, just trying to tease these fish quickly onto your hook. Last thing you want is chucking handfuls of bait in. You're just giving f more options to the fish as where you just trickle some in, you trick them onto your hook. It's like if there's five people in the room and you chucked 500 sweets in, they've got a lot of time to graze and pick them sweets up. But if you're in the room and you chuck 10 sweets in, they're going to be a lot quicker to pick up your bait or your, the sweets in necessarily. And feed again there. there are a few liners. Now, one thing the indications could be is the fish coming off the bottom. Now, here at Weston, the margins are quite deep. We've got about three and a half, four foot. Three and a half, four foot there. So we can catch shallow off the bottom. And it's a nice depth where the fish will just come off the bottom, say two foot, and you can intercept them there. So you have got to be careful of the fish rising off the bottom. And like I said, with your carbon stem float, you can see them little dinks and them sharp indications on the way down. You can see them. But if you had a wide stem float, you just missed that. So that's why it's really important to fish with a carbon stem float when fishing with maggots. There we go. That's one now. Feels a bit bigger F1. Donald beside of us, but hopefully, hopefully it's one of these massive F1s because they've been huge today and it's nice to see. This is why I love coming here in the springtime is these fish, it's going everywhere this one, these fish have been dormant all winter. You don't really see and you catch the odd one. But when it starts to warm up, they start to feed and it's like you've missed them. They're fantastic and I think I've got one. I hope it's a big one. He's not coming off the bottom. Yeah, I think he is. Try not to lose him. Just take your time with these, because they are big fish. Look at the size of that. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. How big is that? Look at that thing. Oh, still a bit lively. Got loads of energy. Look at that. Oh, can't get old this one. <laughs> Try and mould him up without him going nuts. Look at that. That's what you want every chuck on maggots down the edge, isn't it? Big golden F1 on maggots. we my favourite way of fishing. Down the edge, not the GoPro. So let's go and get another one. Like I said, just about being patient and making sure you hook your maggots correctly. So just for the fin end, so there's enough hook points showing. Not going to feed Donald anymore. So like I said, lay your rig in, make sure it's anchored 
in place so it arcs over so you're in contact and then you feed your bait over the top so you're loose feeding nice and aggressive your float started to a pimple so you're sitting there waiting for that sharp indication i just set a sign then Ooh, missed that one so what happened here we could have the fish rising off the bottom and we could be looking to pick the shallow rig up but I'm not going to do that today I'm just going to show you catching on the bottom but let me go what can happen is feed after you hook the fish just to send any that uh, on the in the in the middle columns of the water back down to the bottom so when you go back in hopefully there should be one waiting for you there but I think there's another big F1 there let's hope yeah, it is as well big bars of gold oh, look at that you can see why I got a big smile on my face when you're catching one of them every chuck and your favourite way of fishing nice aggressive we come out of winter in the springtime now coming into the summertime as well so the fish are really feeding so I'm gonna have one more and then I'm gonna call it a day but hopefully we can catch another great big one like we've just caught so once again to make sure see what I mean that last it's just softened over the course of the day just because it's the nature of it it's really nice for fishing for F1 this time of year Probably one of my go-to ones. It's just so versatile. So, rig sitting in there, perfect now. Oh, look at that straight away. I did say it was solid today, but <laughs> fantastic fishing. Like I said, I reckon if we keep going with this, they'll come off the bottom again, like they did before when we've been fishing. But I just wanted to show you guys if you've got a festival coming up here. There's a fair few on coming up or you've got a club match or even an open match or you just want to come and catch some F1s like I had today on a pleasure session this is one tactic that can't be ignored in the springtime it's one of my favourites so so fish is nicely under control but still got a bit of fight in him I'm trying to lift him up try and glide him up oh there you go so I'm going to end on one of these big bars of gold again here on Canal at Weston but if you've got a venue like it by you or you live local or you're coming down to Weston it's a must to give it a try this spring and I'll see you on the bank soon thank you for watching guys if you like what you see don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification so you don't miss any future videos so